Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on DMAPS TV. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming here for the first time. For regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our videos so that you won't miss any of the videos that we do here. Because what we do is we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, we have just claimed that the Citizens Coalition for Change has condemned Mr. Mnangagwa's appointment of Philip Valerio Sewanda to the poly, to the Politburo. In a post on X, the Triple C expressed their dissatisfaction with Munangagwa's appointment, citing that it is a it is in clear violation of the country's constitution, which is the supreme law of the land. The post read the citizens' coalition for change strongly condemns Mr. Munangagwa's announcement of appointing a senior officer of the security forces, Army General Valerio Sivanda to the Zanupia Politburo. This action blatantly violates the Zimbabwe Constitution, specifically Section 208, Subsection 3, which clearly prohibits security service members from being active in any political party or organization. The announcement is part of a pattern of constitutional violations under the Munangagwa regime. Our new Great Zimbabwe blueprint emphasizes the commitment of a triple C government to uphold, to uphold the professionalism and independence of state institutions, including the security services. So this is what triple C is saying. They are saying that President Mnangagwa violated the constitution of Zimbabwe by appointing Philip Valerio Sivanda. In a move that has been analyzed by a lot of people, a lot of political analysts are saying that is one of Mnangagwa's ways or strategies of consolidating power. He wants to consolidate power by making sure that he has all the security forces in his pocket. So this move has been condemned by the Triple C. But ladies and gentlemen, I just want to highlight or pinpoint something here. It seems as if the Triple T to the Triple C or the opposition has been reduced to a party of pressers, endless pressers, endless press conferences, endless press statements. But with nothing much they do to show that they really, really condemn whatever action the ZANU PF or President Mnangagwa dies. Which means in a way, ladies and gentlemen, not much is being done to highlight this dissatisfaction. We don't know of other ways that the Triple C can use, but what is actually happening on the ground is that there is not much that the Triple C is doing to effect or to move the NUPF to stop in any way. So the Citizens Coalition for Change says that it will, ut it will utilize all available legal means to preserve constitutionalism and the rule of law, denouncing Munangagwa's abuse of the constitution. So this is what they are saying. They are saying that they will use all available means to force Munangagwa to come back to the constitution. I will just read through some of the comments with regard to this issue so that we may see the general feeling of the Zimbabweans is represented on social media. How we are gonna do that? They rigged the election. You simply, and how are you gonna do that? They rigged the election. You simply conform to their demands. Now this, you just brush it off. Opposition week in Zimbabwe. Team, Zanpia Zanpia military. Sakanika Irugu Jokera Shua. Wanongo Funga Wondo Dan Kubaka Nika. That party politically is finished. We don't care what you think. Guys, this is not a senior officer, it's the head of defense forces. Constitution Hippie Amnoziva Imi, Tirati Zei Yenyu Tuoni, Zan PF Chibaba Chinopizama Sports. Colin Powell was an army general and registered as a Republican Party member whilst he served as secretary for defense. Nothing wrong there because they are your handlers. When it comes to Zimbabwe, you back wildly. Are you taking the issue? To court Monday morning, someone asks. Gatimbo Viper social media, Timbuita protest in the street, 
Tanita Ninyambo. This isn't the first violation of the constitution and surely won't be the last. Zimi has been a military state for a while now and this present move just cements what is already obvious. The regime is prepared to do whatever it takes to consolidate power without any regard for anything. So ladies and gentlemen, that is what the streets are saying. They are saying that ZANPF has done this and they have always done so. But the triple C should show some form of resistance to this. Otherwise, it will be another five years of the same syllabi. Anukonika Nemfaru, Dinwen, Honorable Madiva.